I am making gummy bears for cats. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. So this is what I'm using. I am using a package of Knox gelatin. This is unflavored gelatin. I am using some tuna. This is solid white albacore tuna in water. Very, very important. Make sure the only ingredients in the tuna are tuna and water. This says no salt added. If we look at the ingredients, we can see the ingredients are solid white tuna and water. There's no salt, there's no vegetable broth, and you don't want salt when you're dealing with cats. So um, find a really good uh, tuna, no salt added, only in water. I know Trader Joe's sells it. I think Whole Foods sells a similar tuna where it's only tuna and water, and I also believe Costco does. And the other thing that I'm using is this cute little gummy bear mold. I got this at Michael's. They sell them for around $3. They always have a 50% off coupon usually. And uh, so I got it for around $1.50. And this holds about a quarter cup of liquid in these molds. Uh, so this is what we are going to use. So the first thing that I want to do is open this can of tuna and pour it into this blender cup because what we want to do is we want to blend up this tuna so it's a nice fine puree. Now, if your cats are used to eating canned food, they will probably come running when you open this can, but these cats uh, don't eat canned food most of the time, so they don't come running. We're leaving the liquid in because we do want it to be a nice puree. And again, there's no salt in here. There's no added salt. Only whatever, the only sodium in here is whatever is naturally occurring in tuna. So... The blender that I'm using is a magic bullet, so I am just going to screw the base on and then blend it. This is what it looks like after it has been pureed in the blender. Now, my magic bullet um, is old and it does not work very well and I am in desperate need of a new blender, which is why this is maybe not as smooth as it should be, but uh, this should do the job. So the next thing we are going to do is boil up some water so we can dissolve the gelatin. I just poured about a quarter cup of the boiling water into this small one cup bowl. And now what I am going to do is sprinkle the gelatin on top and as I sprinkle it on top what I want to do is whisk it in so I want to whisk whisk and stir whisk and stir whisk and stir because we don't want the gelatin to clump up it will probably clump up a little bit because this is such a small bowl but we want to try to get as much of it blended in as possible because this is what is going to, you know, give the gummy bears their shape. The gelatin is what is going to hold them together. Starting to thicken up a bit. It's not going to get too thick um, until it sets. But right now I just want to make sure like all of it is off the whisk. already thickening up a bit. I don't think we are going to need the full package of gelatin. So I would say right now maybe we use a little more than half of it. But it seems to be it seems to be good right now. I mean we we definitely want the gummy bears to hold together so let's just let's keep going. Let's see if we could add more in. Let's keep going until it doesn't dissolve anymore.
Okay, that looks like it's good. And I would say we used about two thirds of the gelatin packet. The next thing we want to do is mix up this gelatin liquid with the tuna liquid. So we are gonna get another small bowl. This small bowl holds one third cup of liquid and we need about a quarter cup for the mold. So this will be good. It'll give us a little bit of extra. So let's put a bunch of the tuna in here. There we go. The whole bunch of tuna. And then let's pour in some of the gelatin. And then we want to stir this together. All right, so right there, right there we filled it up to the one third cup line. And uh, yeah, this is looking good. It's looking good. I hope the cats like it. The cats love the pureed tuna just on its own. So the question is, will they like it with some gelatin added to it? Okay, that looks good. It's nice and smooth. It's actually nice and smooth now. So I guess the blender did a pretty good job after all. Okay, so. I've put the mold on a plate because the mold is very flexible and we don't want um, everything to fall out of the mold when we move it to the refrigerator. And also what I did was I took some olive oil. I would have used coconut oil, but my coconut oil was in the refrigerator and it was way too hard. Um, so I used a little bit of olive oil to oil these molds so the gummy bears come out easier. Now I'm using this marinating syringe, um, so I just uh, took some of the liquid up into the syringe and we are going to fill the molds this way. It's just easier than pouring it. And there we go. Nice and neat. Works really well. So this is what you do. You basically just put the syringe into the liquid and you fill up the syringe with the gelatin mixture. And then we come over here to our molds and we fill our molds. So the next thing I am going to do is take this plate, put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for several hours. In this case, right now it's about 1.17 p.m. and I'll probably be back here around 7 p.m. So in this case, it will be about six hours, maybe more. It is now about seven hours later and we are going to try to get these gummy bears out of these molds. Uh, they're definitely set. They're nice and firm. We just need to get them out of this mold without them sticking and breaking. Uh, so hopefully that'll work. Usually the longer you keep them in this mold, the easier they are to get out uh, looking really good. So for example, if we kept them in overnight, they would be easier to get out. And if we kept them in like two days, they'd be much easier to get out. So let's try this. I've been stretching these out. See that? See how they pull away from the sides? So at least we know the sides are not going to be stuck. I just don't know how like the bottom is going to be. Okay, let's see. Will they fall right out? No. Okay, no, they don't want to fall right out. So let's do this. Let's see if we can stretch them out. Oh, look. It popped right out. There's the little tuna gummy bear for cats. Look how cute. Okay, let's try to get the others out of the mold. Let's do this. Let's just like stretch the mold out. They say like to really stretch it and push. I feel like I'm giving birth to these little gummy bears. Look how cute that one is. Okay, let's do another one. Stretch and push. I think it definitely helps that the mold was oiled a little bit. See the three perfect gummy bears so far? Let's do this one. Stretch. Gently push. And that one came out also. We'll do another one. And 
And there we go, twins. Let's do another one. Here's another gummy bear, and then we'll do this one. There it is, and one more, one more. Okay, and there we have them, eight tuna gummy bears for cats. They really smell like tuna. So let's give one to each cat and see if they like it. Who was sitting by my feet. I had no idea he was like already w ready for a gummy bear. Boo. Boo, you want a gummy bear? Boo, you want a gummy bear? I put a gummy bear on a little plate for Boo. Let's see if he'll eat it. There you go, Boo. Are you gonna eat your gummy bear? Eat your gummy bear, Boo. You don't want it? <laughs> I just gave it to Simba. Is Simba gonna eat the gummy bear? Simba should eat it, it's tuna. They like tuna. Well, he bit the head off of it. Simba's really enjoying it. And now he's done. And Stella's looking for one. Stella said, what are you eating? How come I don't have one? I just gave Boo another one. and he's eating it. It must be very chewy. Good boy, Boo. You ate your gummy bear. Did you like it? Boo's eating another gummy bear. I guess he really likes them.
Good boy, boo. Hello, Stella. You're a pretty girl. You gonna eat your gummy bear? Stella told me she wanted a catnip covered gummy bear. So that's what I did. I took the gummy bear and I rolled it around in some catnip. This is some dried catnip. And this is what I am going to give to Stella. Will Stella eat her catnip gummy bear? It's a catnip covered gummy bear. This is gourmet cat treats at their finest. You wanna eat your gummy bear? Or is she just going to eat the catnip on top of it? All the other cats are waiting because if she doesn't eat it, they're going to eat it. See? Simba's trying to steal it. Simba's coming in for the steal. You're gonna eat it, Stella? You're gonna eat your catnip gummy bear? You just wanna pose with it? Boo's watching. Boo says, if you're not gonna eat that, I'm gonna eat that. Stella, are you going to eat your catnip gummy bear? You want that side of it? Oh, she doesn't want me to touch it. Stella said, don't touch my gummy bear. But Stella, if you're not going to eat the gummy bear, what are you going to do with it? You just want to sit next to it and be friends with it? There you go. You could eat it. Yeah, you like it. Now all of a sudden she doesn't like it. Maybe Splash will eat it. He hasn't had one yet. Okay, Splash, you wanna eat the gummy bear? There's a little bug on the floor. I can't kill it because Splash is eating right next to it. And that'll spook Splash out. Well, Splash seems to really like this gummy bear. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Catnip covered gummy bears. That was a hit for Splash. Splash loved that catnip gummy bear. Good job, Splash. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.